Blonde has officially released uh, their BLB60. Uh, it's now available first on Linso, on Anna, it's, all, it's also on AliExpress if you want to pick it up. One of the big uh, thing about it is that the 50 millimeter driver is coming with is beryllium coated. Uh, it's um, it's tuned very well for audio files. They they pretty much uh, continuing their older lineup. You know they released a couple of beryllium coated uh, headphones about three four years ago. Uh, I think it was a, a rip off of not rip off but uh, I would say they they copied the Sevga the Sevga lineups back then. They they were making a bunch of Sevga ripoffs and uh it was the thing they were doing back then but now they've uh, released something on, on the paper looks like it's their own uh even though it, i don't like the design i actually think the, the look the new look looks a bit ugly um someone may comment and tell me whether this is copying another model because it on a I, I actually feel it looks looks like another model like from another brand I, I can't say for certain which which particular headphone it looks like it's ripping off because the, the other headphones that Blonde has released looks like they are they're ripping off uh, uh, other other sets out there which uh, which I'm not a big fan of you know I really like um, headphones that that are quite unique on their own made uh, with uh, some R&D going into it but I understand this is China and uh, they, they, they have to to make money I get it the large size 50 millimeter beryllium coating is um, it is it's done so that they can uh, preserve good low frequency uh, in the driver so uh, the, the driver be able to handle very good impact uh, as well as uh, decent mids uh, decent mids and uh, decent uh, resolution of a wrong uh, basically what uh, you, you can expect at this uh, price range I don't expect it to blow you away in detail or compete with pl planners and all that it's it's not gonna do that it's not designed to do that it's uh, it's, it's definitely not, not going to be uh, um, competing with top of the line headphones it's 155 dollars um, it's not the cheapest headphone you can buy it's uh, definitely going to cost you some money but when you do get it you will uh, you'll be able to 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 be okay it's a dynamic driver so I'm not expecting it to be the best resolving headphone you can purchase. One other thing here is that uh, they said that they've improved the wood in uh, design on it. They've also put in better, um, better ear pads uh, for comfort. Uh, um, they, 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 they're using a leather, uh, the leather headband, so. Uh, for comfort, uh, which is uh, uh, which is okay, protein leather headband uh, filled with memory foam that can um, that can fit most heads and uh, be comfortable at the same time. Uh, sensitivity on it is a hundred decibels. Uh, f frequency response twenty hertz, all the way up to twenty kilohertz. Uh, it does also have. Um, a 32 ohm impedance so with a 100 decibels it would need some power it's not the easiest to drive from uh, exactly what i'm seeing here so you will need some um some, some, some uh, it's, you will need a dap but at least even if it's not a dap you would need uh, an amp or something not desktop amp but you need a decent amount of portable amp to push this at least to its full to its full potential. Um, so that's what it is. I'll leave the links to where you can get it if you're interested. Do subscribe to the channel. I'll see everyone next time.